Diesel punk is a genre similar to steampunk that combines the Tier 2 industrial technology and aesthetics of the diesel-based technology of the interwar period through to the 1950s with retro-futuristic technology and postmodern sensibilities. Coined in 2001 by game designer Lewis Pollock to describe his role-playing game Children of the Sun, the term has since been applied to a variety of visual art, music, motion pictures, fiction, and engineering. Topic. Origin The name, Diesel Punk, is a derivative of the 1980s science fiction genre cyberpunk, and is used to represent the time period, or era, from the interwar period until the 1950s, when diesel based locomotion was the main technological focus of Western culture. The punk Suffix attached to the name is representative of the counterculture nature of the genre with regards to its opposition to contemporary aesthetics. The term also refers to the tongue in cheek name given to a similar cyberpunk derivative, steampunk, which focuses on science fiction based on industrial steam power and which is often set within the Victorian era. Topic. Differences from steampunk Author Scott Westerfeld addresses the question of where to draw the line between steampunk and dieselpunk, arguing that his novel Leviathan 2009 qualifies as steampunk despite the fact that the technology it depicts includes diesel engines. I like the word. Diesel punk. If you are doing something like Weird World War II, I think that makes perfect sense. But to me, World War I is the dividing point where modernity goes from being optimistic to being pessimistic. Because when you put the words machine and gun together, they both change. At that point, war is no longer about a sense of adventure and chivalry and a way of testing your nation's level of manhood, it's become industrial, and horrible. So playing around with that border between optimistic steampunk and a much more pessimistic dieselpunk, which is more about Nazis, was kind of interesting to me because early in the war we were definitely kind of on the steampunk side of that. Jennifer McStotts, another author, considers the two genres to be close cousins. She defines steampunk as concerned with the Victorian era, and the shift in technology and energy generation that came with industrialization. The genre is primarily concerned with steam power, Tesla, and sustainable energy, while she defines dieselpunk as the genre combining the aesthetic and genre influences of the period of both world wars. Academic Gary K. Wolf defines the genres by their era of setting. He defines steampunk as the genre primarily set in the Victorian era and dieselpunk as the genre primarily set in the interwar period. Topic. Diesel punk inspiration Diesel punk draws its inspiration from two related sources, the diesel era and a characteristic referred to by diesel punks as decodants. According to the website The Gatehouse, decodants, a portmanteau of deco and decadence. 
embraces the styles and technologies of the era, it rejoices in a prolonged jazz age ambience characterized by great enthusiasm and hopes about the future. The term, diesel era, is a period of time that begins with the start of the interbellum era, which covers the time between the end of World War I and the start of World War II. The interbellum era is central to one school of diesel punk often labeled Ottensian. In addition to the interbellum period, World War II also plays a major role in diesel punk, especially in the school of the genre referred to as Pycraftian. C. Common themes found in diesel punk fiction. Below, the exact ending of the diesel era is in some dispute in the diesel punk community. Depending on the source it ends either at the conclusion of World War II or continues until the early part of the 1950s with the advent of such cultural icons as the Golden Age of Television and the replacement of big band and swing music with rock and roll in popularity. Topic. As an art movement Although the term, diesel punk, was not coined until 2001, a large body of art significant to the development of the genre was produced before that. Artwork including visual arts, music, literature, and architecture created in the diesel punk style are heavily influenced by elements of the art movements most prevalent in Western culture during the diesel era such as Arts, Abstract Expressionism, Art Deco, Bauhaus, Ray Gun Gothic, Constructivism, Cubism, Dada, Destigil, Neoplasticism, Futurism, International Style, Surrealism, Music, Blues, Jazz, Ragtime, Cabaret, Big Band, Swing, Retro Swing, and Bluegrass, Literature, Symbolism, Stream of Consciousness, Modernism, Pulp, hard-boiled detective, and nor according to Tom Wilson, owner of Diesel Punk's website www.dieselpunks.org, the term was retroactively applied to an already existing trend in literature. An alternative term was low-brow pop surrealism. Writers of this trend blended traditional tropes and genres, such as pulp adventure, film noir, and weird horror, with a contemporary aesthetic. In his words, they were creating a future fueled by the spirit of the jazz age. In their works, the reader could see Sam Spade in the era of smartphones and John Dillinger use a hovercar as his getaway vehicle. They were writing cyberpunk stories about the era of The Great Gatsby 1925. .In discussing punk genres, Ted Stoltz defines diesel punk as the quasi-future from the Art Deco era. He argues that cyberpunk, steampunk, clockpunk, atompunk, and ribopunk are all defined by their connection to their respective technological element. He found this does not apply to other related genres such as elfpunk, mythpunk, and splatterpunk where technology plays a minor role. Topic. Fiction and literature Alternative history and World War II feature prominently in diesel punk literature. 
Examples of other diesel punk novels are Tales of the First Occult War by Kevin Cooney, Fiends of the Eastern Front by David Bishop, and Hard Magic, Book One of the Grimnor Chronicles by New York Times best-selling novelist Larry Kohea. Topic: Common themes. A feature that was first identified by the online magazine The Flying Fortress is that diesel punk can be divided into two primary themes or styles, Ottenzian and Pycraftian. The dividing line between the two themes is commonly acknowledged as the start of World War II. One theme, named Pycraftian, after its proponent author, Pycraft focuses on the aesthetics of the world wars and speculates on how human culture could theoretically cease to evolve due to constant, widespread warfare. According to Ottens and Pycraft this theme continues the aesthetics of the diesel era into later periods of history by describing a world where survival largely based on a reliance on diesel power is placed above aesthetical evolution as seen in such dystopian movies as Mad Max. A second theme, named Ottensian after its proponent author Nick Audens, focuses on a setting where the decadent aesthetics and utopian philosophies of the American Roaring Twenties continue to evolve unhindered by war or economic collapse. Audensian diesel punk fiction is primarily concerned with a positive vision of technology, where the utopian ideals predicted by the world's fairs of the times came to light. As a result Audensian diesel punk incorporates an enthusiasm for the predictions about the future, and often shares elements with retrofuturism. Topic gaming Diesel Punk features prominently in the gaming industry, in both tabletop role-playing games and computer and console video games. Diesel Punk video game titles have been extremely prominent in recent years, with the success of the popular Fallout 1997, and Bioshock 2007 series of games. Sven Schmalfus feels that Bioshock can be defined as both retro-futuristic biopunk and dieselpunk. World War II is also a popular theme in dieselpunk games. One of the more prominent of these was Activision's return to Castle Wolfenstein, as well as the sequel game to the 2009 game Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein, The New Order, which takes place in an alternate 1960s Europe where the Nazis had won World War II. The game features many dieselpunk style weapons and robots, as the Nazis had focused more on scientific and military development than social development. Other games set in dieselpunk versions of the World War II era include Crimson Skies 1998 board game, 2000 video game, Scythe board game, 2016, Command and Conquer, Red Alert 1996, and Sign Mora 2012. Topic. Cinema and television With regard to moving pictures, dieselpunk combines the tropes, character archetypes, and settings of diesel-era fiction genres such as serial adventure, noir, pulp, and war with postmodern storytelling techniques and cinematography. Famous inspirations for diesel punk cinema include Metropolis 1927 and Things to Come 1936, thanks to their period visions of utopian culture and technology. 
Even the popular film Star Wars 1977 has been noted as having strong diesel punk influences, as it drew heavily on pulp and World War II iconography but mixed them with futuristic settings. Some commonly referenced examples of diesel punk cinema include the neo-noir movie Blade Runner, 1982, though widely labeled as cyberpunk, may also be described as diesel punk due its strong borrowings from film noir. Brazil, 1985. The Rocketeer, 1991. Dark City, 1998. Tim Burton's movie Batman 1989 has also been referred to as a diesel punk movie. Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow 2004. The Sky Crawlers 2008. Captain America: The First Avenger 2011, whose imagery has been described as having a diesel punk quality. The film Sucker Punch 2011, directed by Zack Snyder, includes diesel punk inspired adventures with the protagonist Baby Doll and her team infiltrating a bunker protected by clockwork World War I German soldiers, etc., mixing many retro, fantastic, and sci fi elements. Mad Max, Fury Road, while not a true diesel punk film, has many diesel punk elements in it. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Visual art. According to an article titled Diesel Punk: Love Affair with a Machine, Published in the online magazine Dark Roasted Blend, in diesel punk art, takes an interest in various bizarre machines, full of esoteric levers, cracked glass meters, all visually intense and pretty sinister looking, when photographed. The article references Japanese artist Shunya Yamashita's having created one of the definitive examples of diesel punk art with his work I Can't Explain. The article also references Kao Yokoyama as a diesel punk artist with his figurine series titled Moschinen Krieger. Other prominent artists in the diesel punk movement include Alexei Lipatov, Stefan Prohachka, IXLRLXI, Keith Thompson, Rob Schwager, and Sam Van Olfen. Topic. As a subculture A person defined as a diesel punk draws inspiration and entertainment from the aesthetics of the diesel era to achieve independence from contemporary aesthetics by blending the literature, artwork, fashion, grooming styles, modes of personal transportation, music, and technology of the diesel era with contemporary sensibilities. Part of diesel punk's postmodern nature can be seen in the important role that the Internet as a tool of international communication plays in its development. In addition to two prominent diesel punk online communities, diesel punks and the gatehouses, smoking lounge. There are a growing number of online magazines dedicated to the genre including The Flying Fortress, Diesel Panky and several blogs which are simply titled Diesel Punk. Another active online magazine covering the diesel punk movement is Vintage Future, Diesel Punk, which describes itself as retro futuristic resources from the golden era. While there are many websites dedicated to the history of the diesel era, a growing number of sites are dedicated to topics that tie directly into diesel punk. 
One such website of note is RetroTimes Production, which is an independent film production company dedicated to creating documentaries about retro living, retro design, and retro style. A few sites are springing up that have a retro pulp feel as well, including Captain Spectre and the Lightning Legion, which is an online comic written and drawn in the classic serial pulp fiction style of the Diesel era, and Thrilling Tales of the Downright Unusual, an interactive choose-your-own-adventure style pulp serial. In 2012, World Brews, a craft beer manufacturer in Novato, CA, began producing Diesel Punk Brew, a beer line IPA, Porter and Stout, inspired and influenced by the subculture of diesel punk, and displaying Art Deco inspired diesel punk designs on the labels. Topic. Fashion Diesel punk fashion blends the styles commonly found during the diesel era with contemporary styles to create a fusion of both. The punk Nature of the subculture comes from expressing a more complete presence in public akin to the fashion styles popular during the diesel era such as waistcoats, covered arms, hosiery, styles of shoes, and headwear. Diesel punk emphasizes the inclusion of such accoutrements to render one's look complete in defiance of modern custom. Topic. Music Diesel punk music, which has roots in the neo-swing revival, combines elements of blues, jazz, ragtime, cabaret, swing, and bluegrass commonly found during the diesel era with contemporary instrumentation, production, and composition. Some commonly referenced examples of diesel punk bands are Big Bad Voodoo Daddy, Royal Crown Review, Squirrel Nut Zippers, The Brian Setzer Orchestra, Indigo Swing, Wolfgang Parker, The End Times Spasm Band, RPM Orchestra, Big Rude Jake, and Lee Press on and the Nails. There has been growth of a diesel punk music referred to as Electro Swing which combines the styles of swing music with electronica. Prominent bands within the electro swing include Caravan Palace, Good Co., and Tape 5. Variants <laughs> 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 De punk De punk is a recent subset of diesel punk, inspired by the Art Deco and Streamline Moderna art styles of the period between the 1920s and 1950s. In an interview at CoyoteCon, steampunk author Sarah M. Harvey made the distinctions. Shinier than diesel punk, more like a punk. And diesel punk is a gritty version of steampunk set in the 1920s to 1950s. The Big War eras, specifically, punk is the sleek, shiny, very Art Deco version, same time period, but everything is chrome. Topic. Atom punk. A similar, related pop surrealist art movement, which overlaps with diesel punk somewhat, is atom punk, sometimes called atomic punk. 
A tampunk art relates to the pre-digital period of 1945 to 1965, including mid-century modernism, the atomic age, jet age and space age, communism and paranoia in the United States, along with Soviet styling, underground cinema, googie architecture, the Sputnik, Mercury and other early space programs, early Cold War espionage, superhero fiction and the rise of the U.S. military, industrial powers. Topic. See also Airborne aircraft carrier Air pirate Alternate history Cyberpunk Cyberpunk derivatives Lowbrow art movement Pop art Postmodernism Retro-futurism Steampunk Submarine aircraft carrier Swing revival Topic Sources Carrot, James H. Johnson Brian David, 2013, Digging into the Past, Vintage Tomorrows, A Historian and a Futurist Journey Through Steampunk into the Future of Technology, O'Reilly Media, ISBN 978-1449337957 McStotts, Jennifer, 2014, Asking the Biopunk Questions, Opposition and Interrogation in Olivia Dunham and Walter Bishop, Notes, The Multiple Worlds of Fringe, Essays on the J.J. Abrams Science Fiction Series, McFarland and Company, ISBN 978-0786475674 Schmalfus, Sven. 2012, Authentic Bodies, Genomes vs. Gender Norms in Oryx and Crake, The Year of the Flood, and Bioshock, The Aesthetics of Authenticity, Medial Constructions of the Real, Transcript Verlag, ISBN 978-3839417577 Stoltz, Ted, 2011. Punk, Universal Serendipity, Lulu.com, ISBN 978-1105243202 Wilson, Tome, 2013, Welcome to the Retro Future, Diesel Punk Epulp Showcase, John Pitcha, ISBN 978-0983477631 Wolf, Gary K. 2014. Literary Movements. The Oxford Handbook of Science Fiction, Oxford University Press, ISBN 978-0199838844.